Hey, what's up everybody? So I just wanted to go over a way to do a pretty cool swish pan with a little brightness glow to it, all in Avid. No Boris effects, no sapphire. So let's do that right now. So I got this cut right here. It's going from a guy to an audience reaction and I want some big transition here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make some ad edits on v2 right v2 v3 they're all adjustment layers in avid it's kind of pretty cool um if you're a premiere user the fact that all of these are adjustment layers already uh, i think is a bonus for avid so i'm going to make this 12 frames uh, and i'm going to make some ad edits here so i'm going to go back six frames make an ad edit and i'll go forward six frames and make an ad edit here so what i want to do here is sort of make the swish with a blur effect, an avid blur effect. And I'm gonna hit Control K to make this smaller so I can see everything I'm doing there. You know, where is the blur effect in avid? It is image paint effect. So I'm dragging that in there. And what's gonna happen here, I'm gonna make three keyframes. I might as well make them right now. There's one at the beginning and end already. So I'm gonna make a keyframe in the middle. And what I'm gonna do now is grab, I'll bring this over here is grab this uh, rectangle tool. I'm gonna change this mode to blur and we're gonna go over the whole thing right there. Now, one of the reasons you'll see this later why I like this swish pan going from left to right and I want it to be a horizontal blur, right? So let's go back to the first keyframe and make that zero. So now the, the video's going horizontally at the cut and then it's going to go back to zero, right? So this is a transition, okay? So now I got my blur there. Yeah, there's really nothing to do with the feathering and whatnot. So you just want to go to zero, 100, back to zero. So we got the blur. Now what I want to do is sort of make some sort of glow effect on top of it. Obviously much easier if you had some sort of Sapphire Boris effect glow, but hey, a lot of people don't. Let's make one with just Avid. So I'm going to make this again in, on the V3. To go up top, I'm going to make this six frames. One, two, three. I'll make an add edit. I have my keyboard shortcut C as add edit. Uh, this is the, what the tool looks like. And then we'll go forward. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make an add edit. And in this case, you can do a co real color correction if you want to. Or I'm just going to use a image uh, color effect just because it's easier. And save me a little more time to drink beer. And so the same thing here. I'm going to make keyframes at the beginning, at the end, and at the middle, right on the cut. So the keyframe in the cut is really the, the one I want to deal with. Everything else is going to be pretty standard. But the middle one, we're going to add. And I'm not going to really deal with scopes right now, but add some saturation and add some brightness to it. And that will give it a little bit of a glow sort of effect, right? You see how it's like glowing up and then glowing down. Now, the key to make this swish pan work, besides the sound effect, which I will add last, is going to be the push. Push left to right. Um, is going to be the push. So in Avid, you have this push effect, and you're going to do left to right. But the key is here. I want it to go underneath here. And if I just... Grab it here left to right, it would be way too long and it would take forever and it would not be as fast and interesting. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add, add edits on this bottom layer, two, three, maybe like six frames each. I might even do quicker there. That's a five, right? Um, I made the add edit. I'm going to add the left to right push. It's going to tell me you don't have enough for, for the initial left to right. They want it to be 22 frames, but that's fine. Just hit size to fit. Now it's only a five frame or six frame add edit. And now I will render. I will add a sound effect right here and I will see what I have. And voila, I have an interesting sort of swish pan with a slight glow up top, I could even maybe add the, make that even more, right? Maybe I could extend that out a little bit. So the glow, it almost ended too early for my liking. 
So there it is. It's, uh, you know, it's not the greatest effect in the world, but if you don't have After Effects, you don't have Boris, you don't have Sapphire, you only have Avid, I think it's pretty decent. And if you need to learn more about Avid, go to avidbeer.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.